Hey, it's Chris, and guess what? iOS 12 public beta is out right now, which means you can get all the latest and greatest features on your iPhone. It's super simple. I'm gonna show you how to do it. If you love being ahead of the curve, if you love having stuff before everybody else, then this is the video for you. So if you're dying to try out the speed of your performance, the group FaceTime, Memojis, the new camera effects, the new screen time features, group notifications, the better do not disturb, and of course, Siri shortcuts before everybody else, then this is the video for you. So I'm gonna show you how to do all this on an iPhone, but it's just as easy, it works just the same on your iPad as well. Before we get into it, I should at least tell you in case you don't realize, but this is a beta for a reason. It's not yet public because it's not yet done. So everything's not gonna work perfectly. They're still working out all the kinks and bugs. So you're probably slash definitely gonna run into some stuff like crashes, bugs, kernel panics. Yeah, I don't know what that is either, but that's the whole point. You're gonna run into bugs and the beta is the time when people who are testing out the beta can tell Apple and get things fixed. Last thing before we get started, before you install a beta, you always wanna make sure that you've got everything backed up. You can do it in iTunes, you can do it through iCloud. Just make sure you've got a backup before you go any further. So the first step in installing the public beta is to go to Apple's beta software program page, which is beta.apple.com. I'll link it up down below. And you'll also wanna go there from the device that you're gonna be installing it on. From there, you'll either sign in or sign up for the public beta program using your Apple ID. Once you're signed in, click on enroll your iOS device, and from there, they're gonna remind you one more time to make sure you've got a backup. Then you're gonna scroll down a little bit and click on download profile, and then there's gonna be a dialog box that pops up. You're gonna click allow, and it's gonna ask you to choose a device. So obviously, you're gonna say iPhone. From there, you'll get taken into your phone's settings where you can click install in the top right corner. Enter in your password, hit install one more time to give your consent after you haven't read that long message because let's face it, nobody ever does, and then click on restart. Actually, don't click because this is a phone and I should have said tap. Enter in your passcode and know at this point you don't have iOS 12 installed. There's still a little bit more to do. Open up your settings, go to general and then software update and then tap download and install the iOS 12 public beta. Enter in your passcode one more time and then you're gonna wait about five minutes. At least that's what it took for me to download the actual update. And then you're gonna wait several more minutes while it prepares the update. Once that's finally done, you'll verify the update. Then your phone will restart one more time. And this time it's gonna take a little bit longer while things actually get installed. Installed. Now, after your phone boots up, you'll actually have iOS 12 beta installed. Once you unlock the home screen, you'll see that completed message. So click continue and you'll have an opportunity to set up screen time or to set it up later. And then you'll get a notice that by participating in the beta, your device will automatically send the diagnostics to Apple to help improve the software for everyone. And then finally, you'll get to choose whether you want updates to happen automatically or if you wanna do it manually. Personally, I like to turn on the automatic updates whenever I'm running a public beta from Apple. There's a lot of updates because they're always fixing things and that might get kind of annoying that it's always updating, but it's gonna constantly improve the experience. So I definitely recommend doing it because you don't wanna do it manually unless you do, but don't. So that's it, pretty simple, huh? I'm really excited for you to check this out. Let me know how your install goes. Let me know what your favorite new features are once you start exploring them. Leave me all kinds of comments. I do read every single one. And don't forget, I'm on Instagram, Twitter, at Daily Tech, spelled Daily T-E-K-K, -K, in both of those places. Lots of great content coming up. Can't wait for the next episode of Insanely Inspiring Apple Setups. I know you guys can't either, but I'll catch you in the next video. Later.